Good morning, everybody. Orin J here with another War of the Visions video. And today I'm going to walk you through how to take a unit from level 99 all the way to 140. The process is called EX jobbing a unit and transcending a unit. That's what we're going to go through today. I'm going to show you uh, an example of me doing my first ones on my new player account. And I'm going to show you where I'm getting the materials to do the unlocking and how you can get them, whether you're a new player, which you have amazing access to these materials or if you've been playing for a while you missed out on the new player experiences i will tell you where you can pick up some of these materials if you are no longer new but still wondering how to do all this stuff okay let's get into it first of all in the unit screen the first step you need to take on this road is getting a unit to level 99. Now, as a new player, you're given a bunch of like unit selection shards and you might think, hey, I got my character to 99 with those 600 unit shards. I can now start spreading those shards to other other units, spread them around a little bit. Not true, not true. Not if you wanna be maxing out a unit. At level 99, once you get all the way there and have each of your jobs at level 15, this little EX job button will appear that says EX job. You need one rainbow broadstone for a UR unit, or there's different broadstones for different tiers of units. Then you need elemental fragments of thought and elemental awakening prisms. Now these elemental materials, I've been harping about the um, access to these on my older videos. And I hope by this point in the game, you've seen why. You need them for awakening, and then you need them for further awakening when you get to level 99. They are an insanely valuable resource. Even on my main account, which has played for three plus years and is a massive whale account, I run out of awakening prisms for certain elements every month. It's just, these are super valuable. So how do you get them? How do you get them? Well, as a new player, you have access to one of the best deals, like no kidding, one of the best deals in this game, in the beginner shop. I have purchased all three of these. It is this pack right here called the Beginners Only EX Job Enhancing Pack. In this pack, you get a broadstone for a UR unit. You also get an Azure broadstone, which is the MR um, trans or EX job material. You get six blossoms of paradise. You will see those being needed along the way as I walk you through the process. You get branded tablet tickets. You need those for EXing. You get Alcarus statue tickets. You need those for further unlocking your board that you unlock. I'll show you that in a second. And then you get a select ticket for 600. 600 elemental fragments of thought and 600 elemental awakening prisms that these tickets right here I would pay on my main account 2,000 Vizior for a pack that had just these two tickets in it. The fact that for 500 Viz, you are getting those six blossoms, like the value of this pack doesn't make sense for people on day one because you've never had to really use these materials in any way. Once you get to 99 and start pushing into the 120s and 140s, the, you, the, the value of this pack will become apparent. Now, if you run out of those as a new player because you've maybe spent some money and you're just unlocking a whole bunch of units, you do have access access in your first 14 days to these packs that are also 500 viz these give you only 340 of those two super valuable resources but they also give you 50 of each of these this one's a little bit of a trap because these are farmable these six star five star four star awakening souls all farmable in the game, not something you need to spend Vizior to get. However, if you're just feeling a little bit lazy or you need more of these materials, they are available here for 500 Viz. These are not a bad deal. These each element, one of these, and you can buy them up to three times as well. Okay, let's go back to Bart's. He's the unit that I'm going to um, unlock right here, but I need to use my tickets. You saw that I was out of Fragments of Thought and Awakening Prisms. So if I go to my ticket summoning list and I go to my select tickets, I'm gonna go ahead and find those 600 select tickets that I purchased. You get a ton of tickets in the game as you're playing and uh, you'll quickly figure out that this menu can become crowded. I don't recommend summoning on this just to clear it up because these tickets do come in really clutch when you all of a sudden need something. You're like, oh, do I have a ticket for it? Yes, I do. So in this case, I'm going to go ahead and get 600 light fragments of thought. I'm going to summon those right here, and I'm just going to skip through the animations to keep it rolling. And then I'm going to go summon the Awakening Prism 600 ticket as well. Definitely something this game could clean up is some way of organizing this menu. Like this would be a big quality of life for the game at some point, organizing your ticket summon menu. The one on my main account is like like 50 tick 50 different kinds it's kind of a nightmare to, to go through as a new player though it's not so bad anyway back to bart's let's go ahead and ex unlock this guy so i got way more than enough of these and i have four of those broadstones ex jobs unlocked so what did that do 
it unlocked the ability for me to further level up his main job, World Wayfair. These two will stay at 15. Maybe someday we will get sub job EX jobs. I think that would be really cool in a way of like further customizing characters. But for now, what we have is the main job being able to further level up. Now, this takes a lot of materials as well. You can see you need pink orbs. You need mine spheres for the unit. Now, mine spheres, in this case, it's Final Fantasy V, you are mine sphere. This is when you, if I were to obtain a Bart's shard right now, since I already have them at level 99, the shards you get for units that you already have at level 99 automatically turn into mine spheres. In Bart's case, he actually shares mine spheres with Lena and Ferris in his collaboration. So I have 314 of these. It takes 400 to get a unit fully EX job. As you unlock these, as you level that job up, it unlocks this part of his ability board. Let me show you an example of what that looks like all the way done. So I'm a little bit short on Bart shards right now, and I'm still farming those out. Let me show you a unit that I just took all the way. My winged stern, I have fully EX'd him. He is level 120, and he has this board totally unlocked. This is a huge power up for your character. It's a huge power up. For one, on like PVE events, it allows you to break the damage cap, your 9,999 damage cap. You can add 2,000 to it. It. Each one of them also gets upgraded skills so like Aegis Break, Convergence, those both get upgraded so those skills become better. And then you gain a new skill at the very top, Stern gains Reawakening where he can give re-raise to himself. A huge power up right there. You also gain more stats like agility, attack, luck. You have a node on there, Stern's node gives him attack up 30. And in fact, this node, this node, and this node all require you to go into your ability enhance screen and actually level them up. So don't miss out on that. So that's what happens when you fully EX a unit. You get access to more level ups from these nodes right here. This is what lets you get to level 120. You get a bunch of stats, you get upgraded skills and a brand new skill. It's a big power up. And this was our big thing when we hit this first year anniversary. This was given to us at that anniversary and it drastically changed the game. The Final Fantasy 10 units were the first units to get this and oh my gosh was Yuna a nightmare to kill when she was level 120 and all your DPS units trying to kill her were only level 99. Oh man. But now that everybody has it, it's, it's just a normal part of the game. That's not all. So in the third year anniversary, we received transcendence. Now, once you've gotten to level 120 and maxed out your board, this button right here will appear. Unlock transcendence. To unlock Transcendence, you once again need uh, Mind Spheres. You need 120 more Mind Spheres. You can see I have a, obtained those for Stern. And this is what I'm talking about when I say don't just start throwing your select tickets around like crazy just because you got a unit to level 99. It was very, very important for me to focus in. Like I am only building three to four units early on because I want to take them all the way to 140. I want them to truly get to their in-game potential. You know, I don't have the vision cards and espers yet, but you need to get a unit to 140 and it's important, I'll tell you why. So I saved a lot of my tickets, like select UR unit shard times 50, or the unit shard times 100, if you bought those 50 paid Vizior ones, those are super useful. And so I, I use these only when I have to, and only on the units that I'm focusing on. Okay, back to Stern. Let me show you why the Transcendence is very important. Now, it's a lot easier than EX jobs. Honestly, Transcendence itself is much simpler. You just click this button right here and you say, yep, I have these. Also, another side note, you can convert Mind Spheres for a unit that you maybe don't want to ever transcend or EX into generic Mind Spheres in the unit in the uh, materials exchange shop. And you can actually use those generic Mind Spheres on any unit. So that's something you can do if you're running just a little bit short on Mind Spheres and you want to kind of steal some from other units. That is an option there. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and use his own Mind Spheres here, max him out, and let's unlock this. What this does is it essentially gives you the ability to level up to level 140, but it's not normal experience. I'll show you that in a minute. And it gives you this button right here, Transcendence. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click Enhance. I'm gonna max him out. Oh, and look, I ran out of another material that you need. These Light Alchemist statues. Now, these are farmable, but it's an 18 energy cost farm. That's very expensive. And you wanna be using your energy to farm other things. 
But remember those special packs that we bought earlier? Those special packs came with Alcarist statue summon tickets. So I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to find and use another one of those as I sort through the um, loveliness that is this menu. Special materials. We're looking for Alcarist statue. Awakening Prism, Alcarist Statue times 300. Now you might say, hey, aren't you getting a little bit too many? Yes, if I was this close, like I didn't need that many more for Wing Stern. So maybe if I was doing a lot of different elemental units, I might not have used this ticket for light. But since I know I'm about to have to do this whole process again with Bart's, I feel just fine summoning for these Alcarist statues. These are a material needed, by the way, when you're leveling up those nodes, on your 120 EX, you know, that big triangle tree at the top. You need a bunch of Alcra statues for that as well. I have two of these 300 summon tickets left. I'm going to hold them. Now, let me show you what getting to 140 does and how you do it. So, you immediately become level 121 when you unlock Transcendence. Then you click Enhance. I'm going to uncheck this. I will tell you what this does here in a minute. I'm going to go ahead and level him all the way to 140. It takes 20 rainbow cubes, 18 gold cubes, and 46 Alcarist statues. That's really not that many materials. That's a pretty cheap upgrade. It also takes 14,000 job points. Again, not that bad. And then a lot of stuff is about to happen. A lot of stuff is about to happen on the screen. You're going to see some bars fill up here. You're going to see some stars happen. You're going to see a bunch of stuff. So we gain in stats by going from level 121 to 140, I gained 310 HP, I gained 25 attack, and then you know, one to six of these other stats. The big power spike though, is this bestowed effect. You essentially get a brand new master ability for your unit. It's like master ability three. We had master ability one when the game first came out. At some point, all these units got buffed, unlocked a second character quest that was our master ability two, Transcendence just gives you your Master Ability 3. He gets Acquired AP up 30%, Area Attack Resist up 10, Reawakening is Enhanced, where it now bestows Re-Raise on self, allows you to automatically from KO, raises Slash Attack, Accuracy Rate for 3 turns, raises CT, and recovers AP after arriving with Re-Raise. So I got three things. I know that was a lot of words. I got Acquired AP up 30%, really important for Stern. I got Area Attack Resist up 10, important for every unit. And Reawakening, the skill I got at level 120 from that very tip-top node in the EX tree, got a buff. So that's a big, big bunch of buffs to the unit right there. And that's what it took. And now Stern is at level 140. He himself can only get marginally stronger. And it's it's marginally stronger for most units in this game with reincarnation. First of all, I want to say a couple things about reincarnation. It is cumbersome. It takes a while to do. It takes a lot of materials. And I don't recommend messing with this or trying to max reincarnate units as a new player. Reincarnation, you can click this button and you can see for 20 more Mind Spheres, 20 of these UR scrolls, and then 20 of both of these materials, I could, if I had it, I could click reincarnate. What that will do is it will take him all the way back to level 121. But see these stars right here? This HP star, this attack star. What those mean is when these bars reset to zero, HP and attack will not reset to zero. They will only partially reset and I will keep a portion of the HP I gained and the portion and a portion of the attack I gained. Then I could click enhance again, level him to 140. I would earn three more stars somewhere on this board. And then if I wanted to, I could reincarnate him again, keep my new three stars. I would now have six and I could just keep doing that over and over and over again. It takes about 60 some reincarnations to get a unit to where these gold bars are almost all to the end on everybody. On my main account, which is a whale account, day one player, I have only max reincarnated two UR units. Are they stronger max reincarnated? Yes, they are. You can see how like he would potentially gain another 2000 HP, but really it's only another 150 so attack over one transcendence. They're not, it's not game breaking most of the power in Transcendence and Reincarnation lies in getting your unit to 140 and unlocking this bestowed effects. This is something that I will probably do a little bit of when I just catch some more of his Mind Spheres. I'm going to keep Wingstern in my Guild Barracks and just let those shards kind of flow in every day, maybe keep running his hard quests, and then every once in a while, I will throw a Reincarnation at him because he's like my main unit. And so with Reincarnation, my, my tip is pick a unit that is like 
you're number one. And then when you acquire 20 UR scrolls occasionally and you have enough mind spheres, go ahead and reincarnate them every once in a while. I think you'll see a little bit of a power spike once you get to that like 10 to 20 reincarnations. And maybe at that point you can move on to another one or you can just keep reincarnating your main guy or girl if that's your plan. Um, that's how reincarnation, I believe, is supposed to be used. And then, like I said, even on my account that spent thousands of dollars in this game and is a day one player, I've only max reincarnated two UR units. Scrolls, rainbow scrolls, are things that are given to us on login bonuses throughout the week. They are often gifts for like watching the PvP tournaments or something like that. Otherwise, they cost Vizior, and most people choose to spend their Vizior on summoning instead of buying those scrolls. Now, there's one other thing I want to mention here. Since I've been focusing, whoops, wrong button. Since I've been focusing so heavily on light teams, and especially also building Lucio with those teams, I want to show you Lucio real quick because he does work a little bit different. Now, I have my Lucio at level 99, so he is ready to get his EX job. But note, Lucio uses his own material. The beauty of Lucio is he, and this is why I just highly recommend him to everybody playing this game. He's a great unit and he does not himself strap you for resources. Lucio's EX and Transcendence materials all exist as quest rewards from the Another Story quest. So I am on Another Story part or scene two and quest one of scene two, you will see, gives me elemental materials and the Kindle Light Broadstone. This is what you need to EX job Lucio. It also gives you his job mats, you know, different drops as well. But at, by playing through and completing all the missions in the Warriors of the Crystals quest, you will receive all of Lucio's unique EX and Transcendence mats, so you can take this guy to 140, but basically no hit on your personal stash, and it allows you to focus on your other characters with your, um, you know, with your bottleneck materials. That's why I just highly recommend everybody build Lucio. It's, he's such a good unit, and he's so free and easy to build. So there you go, guys. That's the 99 to 140 breakdown for new players. Um, that's kind of where you can find those materials. If you, I did mention, if you are a player who has played for a while and you don't have access to those new player summon materials, there are selection quests in this game. And selection quests are their own little button over here. I've not messed with them yet because they're very hard for new players to clear. But in selection quests, you can see there's some I haven't even unlocked yet, but let's go to this light one, for example. You will see that these materials do drop in these rooms. Now you need to get, like I would not suggest farming room one. You wanna farm the highest level room you can unlock in the selection quest, but you can only farm per month 200 of the fra elemental fragments of thought or 100 fragments of thought and 200 awakening prisms. I definitely suggest once you've been able to push through selection quests a little bit, if that's something you care about, I would farm all of those every month. They are a very rare material. And we used to only be able to get 100 of these and 50 of these. So they recently doubled that, which does feel nice. You, this also gets you a new character. You get 500 Vizior for completing mission one in every element. So it is something you can start to mess with as a new player, but excuse me, those ticket packs that I showed you in the new player shop, those are your best option early on. And occasionally on nine step banners for characters, there will be 300 elemental select tickets there as well. So, all right. Thank you all for watching. Have a good day and I'll catch you next time. Peace.